Hey y'all, I'm Pam, and I'm gonna be sharing 15 money mistakes that I've made in my 20s in hopes that someone out there will learn from my mistakes. Please don't do what I did, and if you did do what I did, tell me, okay? Share this with me so I don't feel like the only loser. Money mistake number one. I didn't set financial goals. I had goals for everything else it seemed like what I wanted to do, where I wanted to be. I created a vision board of things that I thought I needed. But when it came to my money, I didn't really have a plan for it. I didn't invest. I didn't budget myself. I just always thought I worked really hard for my money and I can spend it as I please. Poor mindset. Don't do that. Have a plan. Money mistake number two. I took a business class in college and I remember my professor sharing with us how important it is to have a Roth IRA. Now, I opened up a Roth IRA. The mistake here is that I never funded it. I never put money in it. I just opened it and left it as it is. I was 18 years old and if I can go back in time, I wish I would have put $10, $20, $50, $100, whatever I had in my 20s into my account and just, you know, have that compound interest. Now that I'm 30, looking back at it, I'm like, damn it, Pam, why didn't you just, why? So now, I'm trying to like play catch up here. I have already invested, I maxed out my IRA for 2020, put the 6K in there. Now I opened up a Roth IRA for my mom and working on maxing her out as well. I'm sharing this with everyone that I know, my friends, my family, encouraging them all to open up their Roth IRA. So money mistake number three. I hate to say this one, but I gotta say it. So started a network marketing company, made really good money, hit this high position and was like, all right, I'm a baller. Let me go out there and treat myself and buy a BMW M4 sports package. Like what was I thinking? <laughs> yeah, I love that car. I was obsessed with it. It's such a sweet ride. You know, I just felt it was really feeding my ego and I felt just amazing every time I was driving it. But now looking back at it, y'all, I spent so much money on the car, gas, maintenance, like thousands and thousands of dollars down the drain. And it, yeah, that was a big, big mistake for me. Now I write a Vespa. <laughs> uh, this month will actually be six months of me writing my Vespa. And let's just, I'll just tell y'all this. I spent less than $30 on gas. We'll leave it at that. Money mistake number four. So living in Dallas at the time, I was surrounded by so many beautiful people that look so good all the time. And working at the mall, y'all, I just, I spent so much money on clothes. I was always trying to like look good, dressing to impress. Don't go out there spending your money to impress other people. Like it was really bad where if I took photos in that outfit, I wouldn't wear that outfit again. So it's just hanging in the closet, collecting dust. I did that a lot. And if I can go back in time again, I wouldn't, why? Why did I do that? Don't do that. If you guys are doing that, just, just stop. Just, just stop doing it. Another big money mistake. Money mistake number five. I didn't have a savings account. I had everything in my checkings and I was like, oh, I know what I'm going to be saving in my checkings like this. I'm saving for that. And it was just all together. And that's just so bad. Yeah. This is the big one. Money mistake number six. I spent so much money on food, y'all. Like so much money on food. If I would have just gone to the grocery store got some ingredients, went home, whipped it up, enjoyed that meal, I would have saved thousands of dollars in my 20s. I was always eating out. I was always like, oh, let's try this place. I've never had that before. Let's go here. Let's do that. Yeah, I spent a lot of money on food. Mistake number seven. This one's really embarrassing. This should actually be like the first money mistake. Let's talk about credit cards. I max out all my credit cards. Max it all out. You know, credit scores, you guys know how credit scores are really important, right? Yeah. In my early 20s, I didn't care. I wasn't thinking about credit scores. I was like, oh, 
I got money in this credit card. Let me spend it. Let me use it. Let me buy this. Let me buy that. And then I would get letters of how I was approved for a $500 loan, $1,000 loan, and I would get those loans. That's another money mistake right there. That's money mistake number eight. And on top of that, I would pay the bare minimum on my credit cards. Money mistake number nine, right? So many money mistakes. I would just pay the bare minimum every single month and Oh, uh, yeah. So embarrassing. On your credit cards, y'all, spend less than 30% of it. This one. This is an ugly one. So when I graduated college, I graduated with over $75,000 of student loans. Now, I just kept pushing it back. I would just, you know, defer it. I'm like, oh, I'll pay it later. I'll pay it later to where I try to like erase it from my mind. Like, <laughs> I was like, oh, the student loans don't exist. Like, it's just, yeah, no, that caught up to me. I finally had the courage not that long ago to look at my full balance of my student loans. It went from $75,000 to $91,000. All that interest, it just, it just kept piling up. Just kept piling up. Now I paid off a big chunk of it already. And then Biden over here is talking about $50,000 loan cancellation. And who knows? Hey, if that happens, great. If it doesn't, no worries, I will pay off my student loans this year, all of it, this year. That is my goal, speaking it into existence. My mistake number 11, subscriptions. Now, I'm talking about those little, like, you'll be scrolling on your phone and you're like, oh, this is cool, subscribe. Oh, this is Netflix, subscribe, right? And then you get Hulu and then you get Disney Plus and all this shit. Money mistake number 12. We're almost done. <laughs> so this one, this is also a really big one. This is important. Emergency funds. I didn't have an emergency fund, right? Oh, I got a flat tire. Crap, credit card. <laughs> oh, this happened. Credit card, loans, right? Yeah, don't do that have an emergency fund, right? Six months, eight months. Right now, I'm good. I got six months worth of emergency funds, but I'm working on 12 months. Why? Because 2020 taught me that anything can happen. Money mistake number 13. So this one, this is a kind of, this is a funny one. It's funny now. I laugh at it now. I moved to California, not once, but twice, <laughs> as if I didn't learn the first time. Yeah, I moved out there right after college. Didn't have much money. Really, actually didn't have any money. I was babysitting at the time. I worked for a professional babysitting company that was also a franchise in California. Moved out there, was working on a few things. I was signed with a modeling agency, so I'd get gigs here and there. But y'all, California is not cheap. My mistake number 14, being too nice. So when I had money, right, I would be like, hey, I'll pick you up. Don't worry about gas, I got you. We'll go here. You don't have funds? No worries, I'll pay for it. Just come up, come on, let's have a good time. Yeah, and I would just pay for everyone. Just cause, I was like, you know, it. why not? Like, they're my friends. <laughs> Stop being nice. I mean, you can be nice, but don't be too nice. Take number 15. All right, this is the last one. And this one here, this was my belief in money. I started reading a lot of books about money in general, how to attract money. Like, don't chase it. I was just like, oh, I'm gonna work hard and work hard and work for my money. But now I'm kind of just like, I'm working. I, I love what I do. Our family, we have a restaurant now and I'm so passionate about it. And the money 
just how it's been flowing without me having to constantly like feel like the pressure of needing it, like being obsessed with it. You know, money isn't everything, right? But everything needs money and it ranks up there with oxygen. There's also that saying how money can't buy happiness. I believe that it can't, right? Because having more money will be able to provide a better quality of life. Like if you wanna eat good, you need money, right? If you want to live in a safe neighborhood, gated neighborhood, you need money. If you wanna have a great education, you need money. My belief in money has changed over the years and I feel like I'm at a good place with it. And I have a good love relationship for money. Before it was kind of just like, money's the root of all evil. Now I, I, I love money. And I just feel like I'm in a better place now, especially that I can get uncomfortable and talk about my money mistakes to the world. <laughs> Who's ever watching this, I wish you so much love, happiness, prosperity, freedom, abundance, great energy, health, just to live a great quality of life. And I, I really appreciate you guys for taking the time to watch my video. If you're interested in watching more videos about money, saving money, finances, life, anything, whatever, just go ahead and subscribe and write in comments below of what you would like to hear more of. I love you guys. Thanks. Bye.